what I'm going to show you to do is how to create a scrolling background there is a demo of this in scratch itself so if you want to have a look at that you can do but all I'm going to do is explain what is going on behind the code so the first thing you need to do is draw three backgrounds so zoom immediately out to as maximum as you can and then draw your background I'm just gonna be really quick and draw um, just some grass like this so that's one background put this in line so that you can see it and then I'm going to go right click duplicate this so that there's another one costumes edit I'm going to make this one a little bit different whoops a little bit different to the one I just had so um, I'm going to make this different just rub out that so it's like got down hill ok and then right click duplicate go to this one edit zoom out and I'm going to um, just put something on the background so that you can see it's different so if I choose this brain here and oops not quite the green I wanted there you go so that one's going to have a green on, a tree on it so if we look at sprite 1, sprite 2, sprite 3 we've got all these sprites which are our backgrounds so sprite 1 this is where the game code starts in so when you start the game right, I want you to set this background so set X to and then you want to go to your green operators you choose the plus one to begin with but you want to set this background is what you want to do and we're going to give this um, background a new name now I've already made one so I'll delete that variable actually so that I can do it again so make a variable we call it scroll x in other words uh, this variable is going to be tied to this actual sprite so scroll x so set scroll x to 0 I oh, know you need another one of these actually green times 0 times 480 yeah yeah and what this does is when your character lands on the screen you're going to set scroll x to 0 on the character so it will land on the very first thing and as you move you're going to increase or decrease scroll x and when it gets over 0 times 480 which will be 0 so it will pull the backgrounds when it hits the middle it's going to obviously be bigger than that so it's going to move on to the next one so if you right click duplicate put that in here and then change this to 1 times 480 and then right click duplicate put that in there click on this 2 times 480 we have this set now where when we press it we're going to make press a button it's going to change scroll x by a value and when it hits these key numbers like 480 uh, zero sorry and then 480 and then 960 it's going to move the backgrounds along and you might not understand that just as I say it but you will when I do this well I hope you do anyway so if I go let's paint a new sprite I'm going to click on this click on import click on I'm just going to use this guy okay okay I put this guy on the screen so control when we start the game forever before we do that we need to set this guy scroll x to zero and forever if we press the right key right arrow we are going to pull the background to the left so pressing the right arrow will actually pull this to the left so we need to change x of so change x by, well, in fact we need to change scroll x don't we, 
change scroll X by and we're going to say 5 for now and then you right click on the if duplicate if we put, oh, oh, put it inside it oh, no. left arrow by minus 5 so if I press the button now you'll see what happens so it's I've just stopped and started the game set so scroll it to 0 which it has it put the first one first and if I press left and right look what happens I'm going look at the scroll that's going it's keeps going out so when I get to zero watch I'll be in the center of that actual um, first thing so now it's going to move on to the second one watch if I keep pressing right left even it moves on to the second one when I hit 480 and then there it is and then there's the third one so you scroll along like it, or it looks like you're actually moving if you don't get this don't worry but if you copy the code directly just make the backgrounds and just keep adding uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for how many backgrounds you've got you'll, um, you'll actually scroll properly but how do we make this more like again so what you could do now is get all the sprite 3 which is here line this up a, bit, a little bit more like this go to sprite 3 costumes Edit, use the eraser, and um, get it so that it lines up a bit better. You can do that if you want. So you just see Sprite Free change then. Um, you can actually get a quite a quite a nice effect going. Um, to make this a little bit better, you could forever pull this guy down on the Y. So change y by um, minus five. Whoops. And if the black outline of this is touching green, push it up. So if we're in the uh, sprite, yeah. So if color black touching that green. So if color um, black this black here because that's on his feet as well I think so if that black is touching this green push him up by five steps change y by five and then if we play the game you can see him he kind of walks along but he will sink into the grass when um, it's it goes higher he won't walk up it you might be able to get that to work properly. Will that just work? But the the harsher you do it, the the worse his bounce seems to come because he's pulling him down, but then pushing him up to ten and then pulling him down automatically. Maybe if we just make it a little bit more than five, yeah, the the bounce gets a little bit erratic. Yeah. Hmm. I I can't think off the top of my head right now how to make that less bouncy. You can't make it any less than minus five because then he'll pull himself through the floor. But that's just a quick way to do a scrolling background and I know a lot of people want to um, actually understand how that actually works. But if I were just to recap, just put this code in, to make a variable called scroll x first and then put this code into your first um, background, so 0 times 480. 480 being the width of the actual stage so when you get to 480 it's going to move on to this one and then when you get to um well when you get to zero it's going to start pulling this one in from the right then you get to 480 it's going to pull this one and it'll just keep going and going and going um so that's how to build a scroll and that's a little bit of how it actually does it in scratch